you are a heat-seeking missile and you just everywhere you point this car like cartons. Hey guys, hood scoops, you know what that means? Subaru WRX. Now, if you're thinking about trading in your car to buy a car like this Subaru WRX, try selling it with Quotes instead. Quotes helps you sell your car quickly and easily. With the new Quotes doorstep, get a professional inspection by our certified mechanics at your convenience anywhere on the island. Quotes will then auction out your car online to its wide network of dealers to bid on your car. Once bidding is complete, Quotes will update you with their best offer price at no obligation. It's that easy. To find out more, visit quotes.com.sg. That's Q-U-O-T-Z.com.sg. Now let's find out more about this Rex. Of course, right at the front, a big functional hood scoop is something signature of the Subaru WRX. What's rather not so signature is that now it's not an Impreza WRX, just like a Civic Type R. It's kind of now more of a Type R. It's a WRX. It's no longer an Impreza WRX, but it's still for now, based off the Impreza body, but Subaru says that in the future, they will try to stop doing so. Um, for the rest of the car, you get newer lights, a little bit more sharper, angular, but overall, a lot cleaner, a lot more muted, a lot more unassuming. It's like a sleeper car. You get massive amounts of power, but for now, a cleaner, more executive look, which I'm not really a fan of. I prefer that boy racer vibe, but let's go on to the side. Now over by the side, you get 18-inch wheels for the Rex. Uh, the rest of the body line it is a wagon, so you're going to get that silhouette, of course. And with these leading lines towards the rear, it's almost making me think I'm looking at a Mazda 6. Incognito vibes carry on to the rest of the rear boot. You can see it's really, really clean, really nondescript, C-shaped taillights. If you cover this up, you'll never know the massive amount of power that's hiding underneath its bonnet. Open up the rear tailgate to 492 litres worth of boot space, which um, not that much, but it will, being a wagon, will swallow up the anti-trolley length test, no problem. For comparison's sake, if you compare this to the other spicy wagon on the market, the Skoda Octavia Combi RS, that has some 640 litres worth of boot space. Why does this have that little? Well, at least you'll be glad to know that underneath is a full-size replacement tyre as well as tyre jack tyre replacement kit, instead of a tyre repair kit that you find more commonly nowadays. Now you can just put that back and then Another nifty few features is some grocery hooks right here. Hooks for your tonneau cover. And then if you want to knock down the rear seats, you can simply just pull on this lever. Very, very convenient. Now let's check out the inside. The Subaru WRX wagon is priced at $229,000. The 2.4 litre engine produces 271 brake horsepower and 350 Nm of torque. The 8-speed Sport Lineatronic CVT transmission brings the car from 0 to 100 km per hour in 6.1 seconds. The car has a claimed fuel consumption of 10.5 km per litre. For more details on the Subaru WRX wagon or any other car, head on to sgkarmat.com to help you make the smart choice on your next car. Now over in the rear of the WRX, um, it is plenty of space for my legs, my head, not so much. I'm 1.75 meters tall in this wagon rear. This is the amount of head space I have, not very much, but at least for my leg room, there is plenty. This is my driving position, wagon length is plenty, so there is a lot of space, a lot of wiggle room for my legs actually, so you can actually, you know, adjust yourself. Uh, in terms of amenities, you're going to find rear aircon here, uh, two USB-A fast charging things, magazine holders right here. Uh, one more interesting point to note that this is actually 30-30-30 folding seat. So if you, let's say, go to IKEA, you have some long pieces of wood that you need to store throughout the, the length of the car, you can actually store it right here and still have two people seat very comfortably. Now, if you don't have that long thing, you have three people, then you have to move over to the center and it is rather comfortable though. It is a large uh, transmission tunnel. It is an all-wheel drive car after all. So in the middle, when you're going to sit eat into your friends, quite a little bit but otherwise aircon will keep you cool so let's go on to the front over by the cockpit of the wrx things are very very analog i think purists will enjoy this you still get analog dials in uh, on your tachometer and speedometer you get a little led panel in the middle so you get some digital some analog which is a great mix uh, i really like the steering wheel the look of the steering wheel is really classic uh, you get plastic buttons but i like these plastic it's not like your usual scratchy plastic this look really good to feel and touch feel sturdy very really nice to touch you have to see this and try it to believe me and then you still get a leather d card steering wheel so things still have that nice premium feel and this red stitching on this wrx really completes the package it is really i would like to take this steering wheel out 
and put it inside my car just to make it feel that much sportier. Over here is the 11.6 inch infotainment display. It is a proprietary Subaru system. So uh, it's kind of very different from any other system you'll see, but very distinctly Subaru. Uh, to me, honestly, the display kind of looks a bit aged, but for the most part, you will be plugging in for your wired Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So uh, you'll largely just won't be seeing a lot of this UI. So, but some of the things that uh, is very Subaru, like the eyesight as well as acceleration meter, the angle of the car. So some of the things will definitely be there. Uh, you get analog controls for your aircon temperature, but not for the fan speed, which for the most part will still always remain here. So that is really useful. Moving down the center, um, no wireless charging inside this car. You get a few USB-A ports as well as a 12 volt charger right here. This is your box typical gear shift right here. Park, reverse, neutral and drive. Uh, the only other button you have here is your electronic parking brake. And then you get two cup holders right here and a hideaway cubby space. Now for the rest of the interior, this material does feel pretty nice. This leather, soft touch here and a little bit hard here, but this does complete a very nice cozy interior. And I actually really like this interior. Some of the bits here, carbon fiber, really match this DNA of the WRX. So it's a very nice cabin. And then of course with the iSight 4.0 system, there's going to be plenty of safety features, including like the driver monitor system right here. But does this car drive as well as it looks? One way to find out. Driving the Subaru Impreza WRX, what does it feel like? Well, as you can hear, they still get that classic engine growl. This is powered by a 2.4 litre turbocharged boxer engine, of course, Subaru, pumping out some 371 brake horsepower, 350 Newton meters of torque, doing 0 to 100 in 6.1 seconds in this wagon form, which is exciting, those numbers. But, elephant in the room, it is mated to a CVT transmission with 8 speed, simulator 8 speed. So, you do get pedal shifters to help you when you shift gears, you can downshift, you get a gear 3, gear 2. After all, it is a CVT, but it's not, it's not that uncommon for a CVT to have simulator gears, but for a sports car to have a CVT, that's different. How does it feel like power? Let's say I give it a kick now. So I do feel like there is a little bit of uh, rubber bending in that fuel. It is, after all, a CVT. But I think more importantly, does it still feel powerful? When you downshift, it kind of removes that rubber bendy feel. So I think, I believe this is what they're trying to do. to give you a little bit of the best of both worlds. So if you're day-to-day -day driving, of course, CVT is a lot more fuel efficient. Then you can get that. That rubber bendy CVT, of course, gives you a lot better fuel consumption. But yeah, if you want that little bit of power, you're not going to playful mode. You can toggle your drive mode right here to go from regular or rather I drive into S drive. If you want a little bit harsher driving, even there's an S hex drive. Not sure what that's called, but that power delivery is quite delicious. I might get why the purists might look upon that with disgust, but I feel that this is okay. This CVT is okay. But to be fair, there is one gripe I have about the CVT, and that's the sound. When you roll down the windows and you give it the beans, especially on the low end, it just kind of feels like a little bit something is missing. But in terms of handling this car, is this car is an ace. It is super responsive with its four-wheel independent suspension. You are a heat-seeking missile and you just, everywhere you point this car, the car turns. You feel, you feel every, it's a lot more comfortable than you expect of a sports car, honestly. But it is still supremely accurate and that's a lot of fun from this car. In a wagon form, no less. It just makes that fun a little bit more tasty. Now, in terms of fuel consumption, honestly, from a Subaru Boxer, I am not going to be expecting much. But if you're buying a WRX and think about fuel economy, you're looking at the wrong things. 
and there's the iSight 4.0 going off. It is Subaru's pride and joy, the iSight system of ADAS using a setup of, I believe this is two cameras as compared to the one inside the Crosstrek using iSight 4.0 enhanced. So that one has three cameras. With that, you get all of your safety systems, your ADAS, it is all included. Lane keeping, uh, front collision avoidance, uh, rear traffic, you get the whole gamut. Now overall, I feel like this WRX is kind of a sleeper. But not just a sleeper on the outside, it's also a sleeper on the inside. Because if you're not looking for it, you could mistake this car, cover up this WRX carbon fiber bit here. You could just mistake this car for the regular Impreza and it really rides very comfortably if you're not pushing it. It's it's very soft, it's very muted, it's very reserved. It's like, yeah, I don't need to prove to anyone that I'm a WRX, which is kind of, I feel like it's a bit uncharacteristic. I want the WRX to be, I'm a WRX, and like screaming to the whole world, like it's a WRX. Me personally, I would like my sporty cars to be a little bit more flashy, a little bit more huzzah. So, but I wouldn't think it's a bad thing. Especially with the design, the outlook of the car. It really kind of feels like it's lost its boy racer view. And to me, that, that's what I really like about your SUVs of the past. It's, it's kind, of feel, kind of feels like the Civic. It's lost its whole like, ah, that's what we want to type R for. But is it a bad car? No, it's not a bad car. It's plenty fun, 271 brake horsepower. Superb agility, this is just wonderful toy to have. So, is this Subaru WRX a will buy, won't buy, or go try? Well, if you ask me, it's a go try. Why? Because it is, especially in this wagon form, if you're looking at a sedan, maybe you can compare it more like the Civic Type R, of course. Uh, Evo is just wah, 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 too bad. But if we're comparing this right now, I would compare it to the Skoda Octavia RS. This currently on today's price point is some 232,000 for 171 brake horsepower wagon form. I think it is quite attractive. And especially with the heritage of this WRX lineage. But if you want something a little bit more refined, something a little bit with quite a bit more features, that's still almost just as exciting. Then you have the Skoda, the Skoda Combi RS to consider. 241 brake horsepower, E8, triple eight engine, and just hell of fun. In wagon form as well, but it's going at some $240,000. That's the list price that we see on SG Karma. So with that being said, this car is a little bit of a in-between for me. And that's our review of the Subaru WRX. What do you think? Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? Let us know down in the comments below as well as any other car that you'd like to see us try out or any other feature of the car that you think we missed out. Let us know in the comments and I'll read every single one of these. Now, if you've made it this far, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any of our future uploads. And do follow us on TikTok. We are at SG Karma. Thanks for watching. I'll enjoy this a little bit more and see you on the next one. Hey guys, Hood Scoops, you know what that means? Subaru. Sorry. Subaru WRX. Open up the manual tailgate, you are faced with 495. Did I remember wrongly? Actually, do this. If you go to IKEA, you can have something like a long pillar uh, from the whole wagon, wagon length of the car. 